Now I want to show you another tool that's quite powerful in Critter. Uh, it's this one over here. It's called the Colorize, um, where's the name? Mask Editing Tool. Colorize Mask Editing Tool. And it basically works like this. Uh, make sure you've got your line art layer selected. Um, and all you need to do is um, click on the line art on the canvas once. The image will go blurry, which means it's working. And then you choose your colors. Choose the colors that you wish to uh, apply to the uh, line art. And all you need to do is basically make a single stroke. So if you want the face to be that color, you just do a single stroke. Uh, let's say you want the nose to be red or orange. Uh, again, put a single stroke there. If you want the eyes to be white or off-white, uh, stroke there, stroke there. And the hat, let's make the hat green. Is a nice bright green. And the background will make a light blue. So background there. Now, Critter is smart enough to know that the areas that you've indicated with their single strokes, you want them filled in. So let's go to settings, dockers, and bring up the two options for that tool. And this is where all the magic takes place. You will notice at the bottom, um, all your keystrokes have been indicated here. And we can change them later on. But all you need to do is click on update. You wait a few seconds. What's happening in the background is it's creating a brand new layer. You can see it working over here. And in a few seconds, it's going to apply color to all those areas. And if you want to see it properly, just go ahead and untick the uh, box that says edit keystrokes. And that's what you get for your money. It's fantastic. Uh, once you've um, approved the color choices, you can then uh, go to the layer menu and convert that layer to a simple paint layer. And there it is. It's a brand new paint layer. There's the line art layer. There's the paint layer. Job done. Pretty quick, isn't it?